in hindsight now, of course, I cannot say that we were, we were happy about the way we were treated. Uh, we, we felt later that we were like lambs on the altar of British Isles. Australia as a society has a unique reputation in that we're the only community who've provided uranium from our own lands to an overseas nuclear weapons power to then make into weapons to bomb back on Australia. This is probably the first time that I've really talked publicly here in Australia. What happened was shameful. Uh, it would not, I mean, it would, could not have occurred elsewhere. Essentially, Aboriginal people were denied uh, their rights. To turn up at a place like Monty Bellows or at Maralinga and all of a sudden find that you're involved in the testing of atomic weapons uh, was quite daunting. The cloud from the Operation Hurricane Bomb did in fact traverse the country because three days later aircraft operating out of Townsville picked up the radioactive particles from the explosion. Most of the country was covered by these radioactive particles, especially uh, from Operation Totem, which took place 12 months later in a place called Emu in the Maralinga area. This is the main place, well, I didn't, important place. That morning, they uh, let the bomb off at 7 o'clock on the 15th of October 1953. And uh, it was black, uh, smoke, shiny, oily looking thing. This is uh, Kukuta country, um, it's important in, in uh, Kukuta ceremony or in uh, religious life. Uh, the, whole, the whole landscape is a cultural one, that is it was set down um, during the dreaming and um, what's left behind is, is the evidence that our ancestral beings created the landscape. During the testing of Maralinga, the clouds of radioactive dust sucked up by the explosions were carefully tracked until they drifted out of the sea. The clouds from successive explosions passed over much of the continent to the north, the east, and to southeast of Maralinga. Number one, only Marlinga Poyo Gotoka. Just finish. And Papa. Nana has spoken quite long and tirelessly on the campaign on Ed Adiwandi's where this actual site's going to be is along a storyline. When she speaks about this, she's speaking for the next generation. I guess that's a bit of a, a responsibility on, on my side, being the next generation, the, the granddaughter to Eileen Brown, the, the daughter to Yami Lester. Why they should make the dumps and radiation? Could they be in their own yard? You know, not taking them all up here to where we are, close to our place.